How's it going everyone? This is Scott Takai and today I'm going to be explaining to you guys frame rates and which ones you should be shooting in. So the most common frame rates that you're going to be running into is 24, 30, 60, and the infamous 120. 24 and 30 frames per second are going to be your standard regular motion frame rates. But what's often confusing to people is which one do you use? My main answer for that is 24 frames per second because what it's going to give you is the most natural feeling movement in your footage and it has the right amount of motion blur when using the 1 over 50 shutter speed or 180 degree shutter angle and it's going to feel the most cinematic, the most overused word on YouTube. This is the frame rate that's used on projects like movies, TV series, or music videos. And like I said earlier, this is a regular motion frame rate, so you wouldn't shoot in 24 frames per second when you want to slow down your footage. If you slowed down your footage when it was shot in 24 frames per second, it would look really choppy. And I'll explain which frame rate to use for slow motion later on in the video. But ultimately, if you want to have the cinematic look in your footage and have the movement look the most natural to what you see in person, I would use this frame rate. When you're working with 24 frames per second footage, you're technically going to be working with 23.976 frames per second instead. And if you're working with actual 24 frames per second, then that's referred to as true 24 frames per second. Even though we all say that we're working with 24 frames per second, what it really means is you're working with 23.976 frames per second. And they're technically not the same thing. If you were to ever work on a project where someone says we want true 24 frames per second, they're going to be pretty upset if they're given footage that is shot in 23.976 frames per second. Not really sure why the numbers work that way, they just do, and that's how it is. Another thing to keep in mind too is the NTSC or PAL broadcast standards, and basically these are just different broadcast settings for whichever part of the world that you live in. And the reason why this is important is because this will determine whether you shoot in 24 frames per second or 25 frames per second. If you live in a country that falls in the NTSC standard, you would be using 24 frames per second, and if you live in a country that uses the PAL standard, you would be using 25 frames per second. The next frame rate is 30 frames per second, and which one you choose to use is really just a matter of preference. 30 is going to give you a smoother look to your footage, but it doesn't feel as natural or motion blurred as 24 frames per second. When you're using this frame rate, you're technically going to be working with 29.97 frames per second instead. This frame rate is typically used when shooting things for TV, such as reality shows or news. Social media sites normally favor 30 frames per second videos over 24 frames, and the default frame rate for when you shoot videos on your phone is 30 frames per second. I can't technically show you what the difference between 24 frames per second and 30 frames per second is on the same video, because when you export a video, you have to choose between one or the other. So if you look at the links in the description, you'll find sample clips that are shot in 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and 60 frames per second so that you could tell the difference. So go take a look at them now and I'll wait. Ugh. All right, so now that you've taken a look at those clips, the main difference that you'll see between the two is that 24 frames per second looks pretty similar to what you would see in real life, while 30 frames per second just looks awkwardly smooth, and something about it doesn't really feel real. It almost feels like you're watching a video. Now when choosing which frame rate you want to be working with, it's important to choose which one you want and stick to it. It's not going to kill your video if you do that, but it is important to work with the same frame rate throughout your project. The next frame rate I'm going to go over is 60 frames per second. When I first started making videos, I used to think that 60 frames per second meant that you're getting better quality because you're getting more frames, and that is not the case. 60 frames per second is the frame rate you want to use when you plan on slowing down your footage. This looks really good when you want to shoot b-roll. You can pretty much shoot most b-roll in 60 frames per second and it'll look pretty good. 60 frames per second looks really good for people walking, people cruising on skateboards, wedding footage, vlogs, doesn't really matter. It's the perfect frame rate for spicing up your footage a bit and doesn't dramatically slow it down. And you wouldn't want to shoot in 60 frames per second and make a video at 60 frames per second because it's even more fluid than 30 frames per second and doesn't look natural at all. When you're shooting in 60 the best way to put the clip in slow motion is to right click the clip and click on interpret footage and choose assume frame rate and change it to whatever frame rate your normal speed footage was shot in. Then the clip will by default play back at 
23.976 and slow down to the maximum slow motion that that frame rate will allow. When you're slowing it down to 24 frames per second, the footage is going to be two and a half times slower because 24 plus 24 plus 12 equals 60, where slowing it down to 30 frames per second means that it'll be two times slower because 30 plus 30 equals 60. Now, once you start getting into the higher frame rates like 120 frames per second, it's going to slow down the footage even more dramatically. My rule of thumb when choosing a slow motion frame rate is if you can't see the action of something because it moves too fast, then that's something that'll look really interesting when slowing it down from 120 and onward. For example, when pouring liquids into a glass, you normally don't see all the bubbles and liquid splashing around in the glass because it moves too quickly. Where slowing it down, it lets you see all of the extra details. When you're filming fast action sports like skateboarding, the trick happens so fast that you can't always process exactly what the skater did. Where if you slow it down, it looks a lot cooler because this is a detail that you wouldn't be able to see unless you slowed it down. When someone is coming out of a pool, it looks a lot cooler to see all of the water splashing around because normally when you see water splashing, it moves too quickly. Where slowing it down, you can really see all of the details of the water moving and it looks a lot more cinematic. If you shot a slow frame rate for something where there's hardly any action happening, it looks really boring. So choose your frame rates based off of the speed of the action. So that is the video for today guys. I hope that was very helpful to you and if you have any questions about frame rates or if I didn't explain it very well because I don't know what I'm doing, be sure to leave a comment down below just asking whatever it is that you're confused with and I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I can. I'm very consistently looking at my YouTube comments and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and be sure to check out more of my videos for more filmmaking related content. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.